Okay, so I'm giving this a try with my, you know, battered eye. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you so very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So this will be Queen Elizabeth. Let's see. Um, let's talk about the uh, Platinum Jubilee and see how that's going to go. And uh, just a general a read to see what comes up. Um, I think you'll be surprised. I don't care who you are, whether you're British or not, you have to have respect for that queen. She has devoted her life to her country as a young woman and to the woman she is now. And let's just see what the cards have in store for her. Queen Elizabeth II. Will she make it to the Platinum? Let's see. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Uh, you'll notice that all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she gave some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Okay, so this will be the queen. Let's see if we can determine a little bit about the Queen's future. She's been taking a rest. She's looked frail, from what I can see, on some of her video um, chat engagements. And I just would like to know anything the cards can let us know about the Queen. What can the cards tell us about the Queen? I mean, really, I'd like to know if she's going to make it to the Platinum Jubilee. The Queen. Platinum Jubilee. Or anything the cards are willing to tell us. The Queen. Platinum Jubilee. Or really just anything about the Queen's future. Let's take six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Queen's future, perhaps a Platinum Jubilee. Let's see what these six cards have to tell us. Queen's future, perhaps more specifically the Platinum Jubilee, but really any message about Queen. The signifier card for this is the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands, uh, wands have to do with action, planning, um, uh, getting things done. And the Two of Wands specifically is really having to do with short-term plans. Okay, so that's the signifier of this card for the Queen, short-term plans. I asked about the Platinum Jubilee. The challenge to that is the Eight of Swords, of course. The Eight of Swords, swords are truth, justice, plans, uh, can be health. And uh, this uh, figure is uh, loosely okay, wrapped in these binds, okay? 
she actually has her hand on the on the on on her sash here and uh, so the challenge to the short-term plans are feeling trapped I'm gonna say that as as well as um, truths and justices uh, these uh, are health issues obviously for the Queen okay what is this in the sky right here this is a butterfly so butterfly is rebirth okay so short-term plans challenged by feeling restricted the base of this reading is the ten of cups the ten of cups just as it's depicted here is a, a is happy family is uh, you know a sky full of cherished emotions okay that's lovely in the past of this reading for the Queen is the five of coins the five of coins is feeling uh, left out in the cold okay and um, so the coins are value uh, sometimes they are money they're certainly worth and uh, the coins are otherwise um, known as the earth so the past of this reading is feeling a little bit left out and uh, here's uh, you know we would presume that this is a chapel but this these persons seem to be actually inside the chapel you know positioned at one of these beautiful stained glass windows I wish I could tell more specifically what is in these depictions but yeah the the five of Pentacles is typically being left out in the cold it's the past of this reading in the sky this reading for the Queen is the ace of swords so the ace of swords just like I always say truth justice um, can be health this ace of swords it happens to be uh, topped by a, a crown this figure looks to be an angel and this angel is is it full charge of the strength okay represented by this tiger this uh, little uh, imp here or this butterfly or this moth is hovering just in the light and this angel is in full control in charge of this great big author offer of truth okay the uh, final outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross regarding the Queen is the devil so the devil uh, has to do with lesser intentions a troubling situation you know trying to get on with something that isn't as it should be the likely outcome of this first part of this uh, this this uh, Celtic cross ends up with the devil okay that's a difficult position to be in let's take the last four cards for this Celtic cross the Queen the Platinum Jubilee ah the self of this question is death death is seldom death of course, in this case, you know, we um, it's, it's the first thing that comes to mind. But it certainly does mean, death always means, the end of a cycle and the beginning of something else coming across here. My specific question was the Platinum Jubilee and, and loosely around uh, what uh, is going on for the Queen. The environment that this death card is in then is in the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords has to do with deceit. It has to do with um, taking something that's not yours or perhaps taking something back that was taken from you. And again, I can't help but be drawn to this little butterfly right here perched on the tip of two of these swords that are left behind as this person is stealing off with the rest of the swords. Could this be Charles? The hopes and the fears of this the star okay so the star is is a a a, a shining okay it's a, a telling it's a, a a bright offer of some emotional awareness okay I think this is the Queen and the likely outcome of this of this uh, full Celtic cross for the Queen is here 
and the magician. The magician is having everything at his disposal to carry something through. Okay, there's this wise owl up here that uh, one might see as an advisor. Okay, and uh, this magician has something in their hand. I'm not sure what they've had, but if we look on the table, we have a sword, we have a wand, we have a pentacle, and we have a cup. So what? So this magician seems to be holding on to some sort of a scepter. I would say. It almost looks like the, the head of a scepter. I was going to think it was part of a, a, a chain, but it's not. This is some sort of a device, maybe a, maybe a magic wand, that this magician is holding on to. They haven't made a choice. They're looking straight at us. So let's go back through this again. I wanted to know the, gold, the, the Platinum Jubilee or generally about the Queen. As a signifier of this, we get the Two of Wands, which is short-term planning. Now, the one plan is firmly in place behind, and the next plan is in the hands of this matron, okay? So does that tell us that the queen is in possession of what she needs to accomplish this short-term plan? I think it's just maybe July of the next year. So is she in charge of, of, of working towards that short-term goal? Well, the challenge to it is being bound up by perhaps these health issues and what's been prominent throughout this reading is this uh, butterfly rebirth okay the base of this reading again then is happy family so she's brought her family through to this point and um, I hesitate to think of, of what's going on in the uh, the royal family as a happy emotional family but perhaps on the side that we don't see on the loving caring what they mean to each other's side that's not up for public display every day perhaps what that's what this represents in the past of this reading is the five of coins and kind of being left out in the cold and so i'm wondering if the queen doesn't kind of come into the situation uh, feeling as though she's about to be somewhat left out okay after a lifetime of service in the sky in this reading, we see the strength of the queen. We see this butterfly of rebirth. We see this truth, this justice crowned uh, at the top here. And this angel really fully in charge of her strength. Okay. The likely outcome of the first part of this is, is this devil. And the devil typically has to do with ill intention. And I just wonder if this doesn't somehow represent all of the turmoil that's happening right now for the monarchy. But then the self of the question right now is in fact dealing with death. We want to know, is she going to make it through to her Platinum Jubilee? Okay, That's the question. I don't know that this portends actual death. But the environment that that's in is in the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords typically speaks to us of a thievery, okay, of taking something that's not yours. And we see that these two swords that are left behind are sort of being guarded. Uh, there's an impression again of this rebirth of this butterfly. And that just makes me think that there's something here that the queen has to hold on to, okay, before this is stolen away from her. The hopes and the fears is that she is the star that she does make it through. And then the likely outcome is that by some magic, in fact, she does. So I'm going to go with that most optimistic interpretation of this read. That the queen, in fact, does get to her jubilee. And I hope so much that I'm correct. And like I said in the intro, you don't have to be a Brit to admire that woman. You don't even have to be a royalist to admire that woman. So I hope you enjoyed that read, and I'm going to try it again tomorrow. And let's see if this old eye uh, hangs in there. Ciao. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.